Fest is here on a Saturday. Awesome. Not. All right, guys, we're back. We're back for more ban lists. I know you guys are excited about the whole ban list thing. Yada, yada. It's it's happening. You've been waiting the usual cycle, but it's a Saturday. I mean, come on. Yeah, come on. Konami. Can we have a day, please? Can it be like Monday through Friday? Something like that. Monday through Friday. As I'm recording this, Alex Simo texts me. I texted him hours ago. He finally answers in the middle of the ban list reaction. It's 12.30 a.m. for me. That's just how it goes. So I'm in the middle of this reaction. You guys are watching it happening. And so first of all, I've, I've already started this thing. I open up the, the usual uh, usual thing. As you guys see here, effective from January 1st. This is not new. What's this? Where's, where's the updated list? So Konami, it's okay with you dropping the ban list, but you're not going to update your own website to include it. So I'm a little upset. Okay, look, if you're going to release a ban list on Saturday, at least update the website. But how about you just don't release it on a Saturday? Release it on a Monday, maybe a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, any of those days work. Saturday, Sunday, I mean, come on, give us give us the weekend, please. We don't need to have to like, so I was out there swinging the sticks. I got an update. Hey, all these notifications, ban list, go react, because you know, that's what I do. It's like my whole channel is about ban list reactions. So I'm out and about, and all of a sudden the ban list is here. Konami. Have some consideration. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, they didn't update the, the website, which I noticed after the first three things. You know, I'm like, okay, that looks normal. And then I get I get all the way down here and wait, that's that was already banned. So finally figured it out. So guess what, guys? We gotta use Twitter or whatever it's called now. X. It still says twitter.com, by the way. When you click up here, it says twitter.com. Oh, you guys might not be able to see that, but it says twitter.com, whatever it is. So ban list. That's why we're here. This is why you're here to watch the ban list. Got to go to Yu-Gi-Oh! News TCG. I think this was posted by like the EU or something before. And I don't know. I just had to find it somewhere. Apparently, I went to Simo's video. I'm like, where did he react to this? And it turns out it was on Twitter. So we're reacting to Twitter now. Okay, here are the updates for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Forbidden Limited List. Effective April 15th. Tax day. Instead of tax, I mean, taxes are bad enough. Now we have a ban list. Okay. In North, North and Latin America, April 22nd, 2024. Other regions. Okay. The decision to postpone the effective form date for the new la 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 was given. They give the player some more time to update the decks for the next major. Full list will be posted on Konami's website on April 15th. So they're finally going to post it on their website two days after it gets dropped. I don't understand. Are there only four cards? Wait a second. Okay, well, we'll just go through here. Okay. Forbidden limited card list update. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It's just using one picture. Okay, that threw me off. I was like, I know for a fact that there's another card in here that should that should be banned, but it's not on here, but it is. Okay, so forbidden, effective April 15th or North Atlanta, America, yada, yada, yada. Africa, Oceania, forbidden, Link Karibo. Really? Really? Little Karibo? What do you do to deserve this? Link one? Those little one stars, you're gonna make that quick Karibo? You're gonna ban that? Disappointed. Second, Baron to floor. Might as well, you've already reprinted into oblivion. So it's a freaking $130 card, ridiculously priced. They're like, you know what? We'll put it in rarity collection, make it affordable for everybody. Wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, that's great. Oh, we can all afford our barons. Guess what now? Banned. It's going to be a cent now. You can't even use it. Oh, by the way, I invested in this. Our investment this year is getting absolutely destroyed. I invested in cheap barons. They're going to be even cheaper now. Third, Boralode Savage Dragon. Sure. Sounds intimidating. Summon limit. I don't think anybody's going to be upset about that. Summon limit. I mean, let's be honest. Does anybody like floodgates? I say that and sometimes floodgates can be funny. They can be funny if you're playing them. If the other person's playing them, nobody likes them. Okay, uh, next, limited, uh, Arch Nemesis Protos. That was the card that they played with Sword Soul. That's the only thing I know about this. Now, I don't know. I don't know if this used to be banned or not. I don't have the knowledge for this. Did this used to be banned? Oh, guess how we check. Ba-boom, check this thing. Arch Nemesis Protos. Nemesis. So I don't know how to spell. There it is. Oh, it's right there. It was forbidden. Now it's limited. You see those resources right there? Because I know the ban I know the ban list well. I didn't have to look that up. That right there, now limited. Great. That's awesome. Probably because nobody cares about Sword Soul. As soon as I bought a full Sword Soul deck, it sucked. Okay. Title Dragon Ruler of Waterfalls. They recently took Blaster off. So now they're taking off Title. I don't know if they've taken off the other guys yet, but they're slowly allowing Dragon Rulers to be a thing. Probably because they're like 50 years old. I mean, they're not going to be good. They're ancient. Thunder Dragon Colossus. This is one I may or may not have got a spoiler about. I'm so angry. Konami, really? Do you care about the quality of our game? This is un, 
be leavable. I am so upset right now. I hate that card. I would never ever invest in that card and try to sell those cards when they get unbanned. That is just pathetic. I am so upset with you, Konami. I, this is ridiculous. I'm done. I'm never playing Yu-Gi-Oh again. So frustrating. If you even own that card, you're a piece of crap. Mag Magic Specter, Unicorn, Kieran. Okay, sure. This was in like was this in docks or something like that? I Yeah, super good card, yada, yada. It's a pendulum, nobody likes it. Chicken game, I don't even remember what, I think this used to be banned or something. You draw cards with it, so scary. Who draw cards, whoa, pot of green, whoa. Anti-spell fragrance, uh, yet another one of those annoying cards where you can't like play your spells. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I'm okay with that one. Okay, semi-limited. It is uh, two new semi-limited semi cards, huh? Simo is not going to be happy. He's not going to be. Maybe that's why he's texting me. Semi-limited cards. I'm upset right now. Armageddon Knight. Armageddon Knight. What was that at before? Armageddon Knight was limited. Oh, OK. So now it's at two. OK, I was about to say Armageddon Knight. Like the card's old as heck. But I guess like it's in the dark could be good. Synergistic, whatever. Makes sense. Uh, but if it can be at two, I guess we'll probably see it at three soon. It'll probably be the next band list. I'm like, you know what? Let's move the Armageddon Knight to three and see what happens. OK. Pearly Delicious Memory, uh, Pearly, Pearly, Pearly. Great, Eevees, uh, evolve them. All right, finally, the unlimited list, Destiny Hero Malicious. Whoa, Malicious has been a two for a while, hasn't it? Okay, because you know, you have to have two of them to actually play it. So you can't put it below two. It's essentially a ban if it's a one. So, okay, that's cool. Or Orcus Harport, uh, has anyone played Orcus since like, I think the last time they played Orcus was like before I even did YouTube. That's how long it's been. Speedroid Terror Top. Speedroid. I hate roid monsters. If you ever heard of UFO roid, Speedroid. Same archetype. I hate them both. Sky Striker mobilize it. Should have gotten some QCRs of this. That is a card that will be expensive because for some reason people like Sky Striker. I have played against Sky Striker before. You know, an experienced player I am. Sky Striker is a pain in the butt. They're just annoying. They just keep putting out one monster at a time. One monster being annoying. It's always in the freaking link zone. Just trying to attack you or draw extra cards and getting the cards back from the graveyard. And it's just a pain in the butt. And they're coming. You destroy one, brings another one back. And they, yeah, I'm not a fan of these. I don't like it at all. Not a fan. So put that back to zero on the next ban list. Konami, I'm asking you to do that. Yeah, great, great list. Uh, I definitely am posting on time. I'm sure that you guys are very excited about my re reaction. I am very excited. And I'm very angry because how could in the world could you bring Thunder Dragon Colossus back? I mean, ugh, ugh. Thunder Dragon Colossus, disgusting. I am honestly, I'm just disgusted. I'm done. I'm done with Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm officially quitting. This is the last time you'll ever see me make a Yu-Gi-Oh video and definitely won't be reacting to the ban list because first of all, I'm done with it. I'm just done. I'm done. I don't need to see anymore. Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffin Sudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.